This is lesson two, using the blockchain for digital finance. And in this lesson, we'll be taking a look at the blockchain technology's potential to serve as a ledger of financial information for real world properties and assets such as real estate, stocks, bonds, and much more. Let's begin. The blockchain allows users to create smart property by representing them in the real world with Bitcoin. And you may have heard of Bitcoin be described as programmable money. And this is essentially what we're talking about. Because every unit of Bitcoin represents information technology, we can actually record and hash into that specific unit of money properties that it represents in the real world. And each Bitcoin can potentially represent stocks, real estate, and more by verifying these details into the Bitcoin blockchain. And indeed, this is what a few companies are currently working on now. And it's described as smart property. One of the major financial institutions experimenting with digital assets on the blockchain and representing their own assets as a property on this ledger is NASDAQ, which is announcing plans that it down, uh, is leveraging the blockchain technology as part of an enterprise-wide initiative. Really, NASDAQ is one of the firms that is taking the first step towards this new paradigm in money and trading with blockchain technology. The article which NASDAQ released described their first steps toward an efficient fully electronic services that facilitate the issuance, transfer, and management of private company securities. So you can see actually that the blockchain can represent a financial lever, led, uh, ledger, not just of currency or money, but actually backwards compatible securities and real estate and much more. And NASDAQ is one of the firms that's really pioneering this and seeing if the blockchain technology can apply to their business. Now, we were describing how each unit of Bitcoin can actually be used as information technology to represent real world assets in what is being called smart property. And one of the major protocols behind this, and in fact, the one that NASDAQ is using is called the Open Assets Protocol. And it's described as a simple and powerful protocol built on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. It allows issuance and transfer of user-created assets. The Open Assets Protocol is an evolution of the concept of colored coins. So the Open Assets Protocol is really one of the emerging technologies for allocating and representing smart property on the Bitcoin blockchain. And it's very exciting the many possibilities that we may potentially see from this sort of financial ledger technology. This brings us to the conclusion of our lesson today. For the Open Assets Protocol, you can read the specification on GitHub at github.com slash open assets. That's all for today. We'll see you in the next lesson.